Hey guys, welcome to my newest series on my channel called Let's Make a Planner. And well, you guessed it, we're gonna be making a planner. We're gonna be doing this using InDesign and we're going to do it together. I'm gonna take you through the whole process, including doing your research on designs. We're gonna de uh, design each different um, layout and section that you might wanna have. And I'm gonna give you a few different variations of each. And all together, it's gonna be about 20 videos. And by the end of this, you should have a planner, as long as you're following along, of course, all ready to go and sell. And on top of that, you're also gonna have the skills you need to go forth and create many more planners for your business. So without further ado, let's first talk in this first episode about who this is really for. And this series is going to be for anybody who wants to make planners that you print yourself, um, anybody who wants to make planners that you send to a printer or a manufacturer to make the whole thing. Um, it could be used for those that are wanting to make printable planners that you sell digitally and your customer prints out. And you can also use it to create digital planners for use in GoodNotes. Um, so I'm sure you can figure out by now that this is really for anybody wanting to make any kind of plan. This series is going to work for you. I will talk about how you can use this series to suit your specific needs, depending on which planner you want to make in just a minute. But first I want to talk about why InDesign. Since the entire series, I will be showing you how to use InDesign to create your planners. I think it's probably important to explain why I use it and why I recommend it. So I'm sure you know that there are other um, programs out there that you could use for this type of project. Um, that you might even be able to find them cheaper or even maybe even free. But there are a few key reasons why I use InDesign and why I always recommend it for anybody wanting to be um, a stationary business or a planner business because you want to be professional, right? Um, so let me go ahead and talk about a few of those reasons right now. And number one, the most obvious I think, is that it is a professional program, widely considered the industry standard, that's specifically made for creating longer documents like this. So if you're serious about creating an actual business where you are making planners, then it makes sense that you would want a serious program. And while it's a lot to learn at the beginning and you have that a little bit of a higher price point on it, I can promise you that in the end, it's going to totally be worth it um, because the tools that come within InDesign are going to make your life a lot easier, not only in the creation process, but in the um, updating process when you go to update your planners later. Hacking another app or program like Keynote, um, which I know many people use for creating digital products, might make it seem simpler and obviously a lot cheaper in the beginning. But believe me when I tell you, it will create a lot more headaches for you in the end when you're having to completely recreate these planners um, down the road. Remember that planners, especially data planners, are going to need to be updated at least once a year. And that doesn't even account for if you want to add new variations to your planners, which if you're trying to create a planner business, then I'm assuming you're going to want to sell more than one type of planner. So keeping in mind that down the road, this program is going to make things a lot easier for you, I think is reason number one and probably the biggest reason. Reason number two is that InDesign has so many tools that you can use to help you streamline your process and make it a lot quicker um, down the road. As if you're setting things up correctly at the beginning, again, it will be so much easier later. Some of these tools that you're gonna find in InDesign that are really gonna help you out are things like character and paragraph styles, um, Creative Cloud Library, that's gonna really help bookmarks, obviously parent pages, um, is a huge one. Uh, tables, I use tables a lot in InDesign and also layers, which in my opinion, Adobe does really like no other program um, out there. And, and it makes everything a lot easier in creating, not to mention tons of tutorials online for any Adobe products. 
but these are just a small number of the tools and don't worry i will go through a lot more of them throughout the series also i will be doing a tips and tricks video um, to point out all the most important ones that i think you're going to need specifically for creating this type of document because indesign is such a large um, program you will often you'll find a lot a lot of tools in there that you're not going to need most likely um, so that's one of the reasons that i wanted to make this series specific for creating planners okay reason number three that i like to use in design is really based on whether or not you use any other in design platforms um, or programs like photoshop is probably the most popular one but you also have um, Illustrator, which I use a lot, um, Premiere Pro, if you're going to want to create videos for um, your listings and for your marketing for your planners, uh, and also even something like Adobe Express, which in the Creative Cloud is included, the premium version is included. And this is kind of similar to Canva. I think Canva has been a little around a little bit longer than the Adobe Express. Um, so it's very similar to Canva if you've used that before but the premiere or the premium one is going to be included with the creative cloud and um and it works very very similarly except for layers is a lot easier to use in adobe express versus in canva but the great thing is is that all of these programs work really well together um, especially with the creative cloud libraries because you can save assets in there and then you can bring them up in any of the other programs in your documents so you could create say your covers in photoshop or illustrator and bring them into indesign and add them that way um, you can like i said create listing photos for um, your listings once your planner is done in photoshop you can create the videos in premiere pro um, so there's a whole lot you can do with the program and there, you know, there's a lot that goes into running a business and um, these programs are definitely going to help you out in basically every aspect. And reason number four, which I actually kind of mentioned already, is that you can update and create new planners very easily after creating your first planner. Um, there's tons of tools in InDesign that allow you to very easily make changes along the way and we will be going over those throughout the series but one big one is style whether it's paragraph styles character styles or table styles they really really help you to be able to quickly and with really one click update everything in your planner um, and i will explain like i said more going forward throughout the series okay so now if you don't have indesign um, in order to follow along with the series, you're really probably going to want to have it. Um, it's going to be a little tough. I mean, you probably could follow along still with a different program, a similar program, but your best bet is going to be to go ahead and sign up for InDesign. And that way you can jump in and you can follow along with everything. Right now, I, as of filming this, Adobe is offering a seven day free trial. Um, and that is whether you want to do just InDesign or you want to do the whole creative cloud and that's totally up to you, but you can try it out for seven days and see if it's worth it. I have a link down in the description. Now, full disclaimer that this is an affiliate link. So if you use my link to go sign up, of course, there's no additional cost to you, but I may receive a small commission um, for using my link. Of course, I really appreciate that because it helps me to make all these videos that I create for you guys for free. Um, and so I can keep afford to keep it from creating this channel and creating videos for it. Okay, now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about how you can use this series no matter what type of planner it is you're wanting to make. I am going to be creating in this series a printed planner. So it's intended to be printed by you or sent off to a printer. But that doesn't mean that if you want to make a printable or a digital planner, you cannot follow along. Most things are going to be the same. Um, where things will be a little bit different is obviously digital planners are going to have hyperlinks in them most often. And you don't have to, but usually that's the way that works. Um, and it's mainly going to be the document setup that's going to be different. But if at any time throughout the series, something that we're doing will be completely different on one format versus another. I will make sure to mention it, 
but 99% of this is going to work um, and be exactly what you need no matter which type of planner you're trying to make. Okay, and so how this series is really going to go is that I am in each video. Um, the first couple will be more um, less specific and more design oriented tips and tricks. And then we're going to get our documents set up again. I will go over all the different document setups depending on which type of planner that you're planning to make. And then from there, we're going to jump right into designing each page. So each video is going to be a different page or section. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you, I think most of them are going to be about two versions of a more basic layout. And then I'm going to show you a version of a more themed planner. I'm going to be using a doggy planner, a doggy theme, um, for this series so that I can show you a few little extra cute things that you might be able to do with it. If you wanted to create something more themed. Um, and this is just going to depend on what you are interested in doing. Um, and I'm showing you all these variations. One, so I can show you how to go ahead and create the different tables and lines and different sections. And I can show you how all the tools work, but it's really not intended for you guys to copy completely. So still try to figure out how to turn it into your own planner um, and just use this as a tips and tricks and guides. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the list of um, different videos that I plan to have in this series. As I said earlier, it will be about 20 videos. Um, it may change around a little bit, but this should be pretty much what it is. I'll also do a post on the community tab that lists out all the videos so you know what to be on the lookout for. And also, um, it would be awesome if you could go through those videos. And if there's anything that you might want to see that I don't have listed there, go ahead and leave me a comment on any of the videos. I will be checking them. And I have held a video, a space for um, any requests that you guys have. So that being said, let me go ahead and go through the videos that you can expect to see in this series. And the first one is obviously this video, this is the intro series intro. Um, but video number two is going to be um, design planning and inspiration where we decide what planner and what type of planner and what layout and themes that are going to work best for you. I'll show you how you can go ahead and research some different ideas and then we'll get all of that figured out so that you'll be ready to start actually going in and creating your planner. Video number three, I did want to go in and do a tips and tricks video that's going to show you all my my top tips and tricks I have for InDesign specifically for planners, for creating planners and journals, um, because there's so much in there. I wanted to narrow that down. Um, that's a good one to go through at the beginning. That way you'll be on the lookout for these tips and tricks throughout the series. I will be showing them again throughout the videos. Video number four is going to be our document setup. That's where we're going to be getting our documents all ready to go, um, depending on the different type of planner that you want. We can make sure we have the right sizing and layouts and all of that. Then video number five is going to be all about notes pages. We're going to be going creating a lined dot grid, grid, graph, grid or graph paper, and we'll be doing some to do lists. So those are all the basics and I'm going to show you how to create those. In video six, we're going to be creating year at a glance calendar, which is basically those if you you know, I'm sure you've used the planner before as the little mini calendars you'll see basically on a spread um, to show you the year at a glance. <laughs> and video number seven, we're going to be doing a monthly, um, the monthly spread. So that's the monthly view um, calendar, which typically, and a typical planner is going to again be two pages. It'll be a spread. That's what we'll be creating. In video number eight, we're going to be doing a monthly dashboard. This is um, your chance, your customer's chance to plan out the month in advance. Um, and we'll be going over a different, a couple different um, formats for that that you might want to try out. Um, video number nine, we'll be doing vertical weekly layouts. And again, each of these videos are going to have two, I believe, at least two different versions of the plane. 
and then one themed version as well. Um, so we'll be doing a vertical weekly layout for episode nine. Episode 10 will be a horizontal weekly layout. Um, number 11, an hourly weekly layout. Episode 12 will be a weekly combo um, layout, which I call a hybrid in my store, but it's basically kind of, kind of like a horizontal week, but also has like a little weekly dashboard as well, but you'll see what I mean by that. Um, and then number 13, we're going to create some daily planner pages. Um, number 14, video number 14, we're going to create some contacts and passwords pages in case you want to have those in the back of the planner for your customer. Video number 15, we're going to create some vision pages and goals pages. Um, number 16, this is the episode that I'm holding a spot for that would like, I would like to be your requested pages. So again, any pages that you don't hear on this list that you might want me to create, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, video number 17 is going to be digital extras. So this is really going to be for those creating digital planners where we will go over the differences you might want to have in like layouts and we'll be going over hyperlinks. Video number 18 is when we're going to actually create our finished document. Okay. So up till this point, we're basically creating our parent pages and in video 18, we're going to be actually putting all those pages and putting them into the document and creating it so that it's ready to uh, be sent out to the printer for you to print yourself or, you know, exporting the PDF. Those are those 18 videos. The first 18 videos are the, the most important videos. I do have two kind of, I'm considering them bonus videos. Um, so video 19 is going to be updating your files and creating variations. So I've mentioned a few times that um, one of the things InDesign does so well and using the program really helps you to be able to make updates and to create many variations from your first planner without having to completely redo all the work. So I'm going to show you how you can actually do that um, with these. And then um, bonus episode two, which is actually episode 20, is um, more for those that want to make the planners themselves. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can make covers and dividers. This is something um, that I make myself um, and I haven't really found out. I had to do figure it out trial and error because I haven't seen anybody really showing how you can make professional looking um, dividers. So, um, but so we'll be going over covers and dividers and that'll be good for you if you're actually planning to print your planners yourself. Um, and so that's why I consider those two bonus videos. So the plan is to have all 18 videos out by to be finished by October 30th, I believe. Okay. So the two uh, bonus videos will be the first week in November, but all the other videos will be done by the 30th. Mostly it's going to be two videos a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, but there might be a couple weeks where I have maybe three videos. Um, just to get caught up because I'm a little behind like I always am. This way, if you're following along with the series and you want to have a planner out for this planner season, this will all be done by Oct the end of October so that you can get those out. It might be a little more difficult if you're planning to have it printed somewhere, but if you're printing it yourself or you're selling it digitally, you will be all good to go for this new planner season. I am so excited for this series, so I really hope you guys are too. Um, my hope is that creating separate videos for all of these different pages will really help give you time to follow along with them and get the practice and have a finished product when you're done. So let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you want to see and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.